Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Simply Tanika Dion, and I am so excited for today's video because I received a PR package from fellow YouTuber Chantilly Lace with the, or Chantilly, I don't, I'm not sorry, I'm not sure if it's Chantilly Lace or Chantel Lace. Uh, with the pretty face but either way you'll know who I'm talking about because I'm gonna put our information on the screen as well as down below in the description bar but yeah so Chantel uh, started her own lash company and that is very very exciting to see a fellow youtuber who started out um, on YouTube and has her own business now that is just really exciting um but anywho uh, and i've been watching her videos for a long time for as long as i've been uh doing youtube which is about uh, a little bit over a year now but took a break and all that stuff but that's not important anyway today uh we are is all about chantelle's new lash line uh yeah last line um and just go to her website which i will also link below but the name of her lashes are her company is flirty girl lashes and she has um whatever type of lash you're looking for uh you know some natural some bold some extreme just whatever you're looking for as well as eyelash tool and eyelash glue and she did like i said send me a pr package uh to review which is what i'm going to do today and i'm really excited about it all righty so um now before we begin um yeah i know my face looks crazy because i have nothing on um and i am still rocking this uh same wash and go that i did two weeks ago Still has all this body and stuff but it does need to you know i need to wash this thing it looks a mess um but still you know and yes yeah. and uh as of late too guys i have not been wearing any concealer on my eyebrows i've just been doing that whole natural thing and i'm mad at it i really am not mad at it y'all just uh brush them up and fill in the sparse hairs and keep it moving that's all i go i generally use my um goof proof uh, by benefit pencil number five and then set it with the brow setter uh also by benefit which is what i have been doing but today i couldn't find this actually um uh, but i found it now but when i did my brows today i actually used this la colors um brow pencil which you know did pretty much the same thing you know like i said all i do is brush up my eyebrows and i don't do anything just brush them out fill in the sparse hairs and keep it moving i've been just rolling with the naturalness of my eyebrows just that's all they may not be perfect but whatever my right brow has always been thicker than the left one but that's cool with me i don't even care y'all anyway let's go ahead and open up the um package which looks like this come on pokey pokey <sighs> sometimes the camera has a mind of its own hello hello y'all bear with me because as i always say i'm trying not to edit but anyway this is here we go okay this is a little box that she put it in which is super super cute y'all super super cute y'all get raw and unedited stuff with me so whatever that's what it looks like and um yeah so let's go ahead and open it i took it she had it wrapped in bubble wrap and everything it was really nicely well put together so i didn't even open this box i could have i don't be cheating i could have but i didn't that's why i still kind of got like a, a a tough not a tough but like a thick hole to it because i have not opened it but anyway so yeah oh that's cute okay so and this is what it looks like on the inside I do not know what's happening with this focus, y'all. I got to check on some settings. I have no idea. Okay, so. <sighs> excuse me, y'all. Um, well, excuse my camera. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so it's in a cute little uh, bag right here. It has lashes and glue. Really cute. And then I can look in also and has her eyelash tool. Which is, you know, like a lot of tools that look like that. But it has her branding on there. Flirty Girl Lashes. This is really cute. I really like the symbol. You know, it's like eyelashes. Uh, and has Flirty Girl. Really, really cute. And okay. And let me, oh, before I get into that. And then it also has a thank you card here. And then the bottom has all the little oh and oh and has oh and has her little business cards which i will definitely help out and hand out when i go uh to my favorite places 
Um, but anyway, yeah, so, and the thank you card, let me see, it looks like this, and let's see, I'll just read it, and write the written note, um, thank you, y'all, I can't even see it, look, it's this close, and I can't even see it, I can see everything now, because I'm a contacts wearer now, honey, and I love them, okay, but, so, remember when I told y'all in another video, which I probably linked somewhere, that I was wearing contact, I'm getting off topic, but it's okay, whatever um and uh i had to go back to the doctor that next day to get my contacts tweaked because i can see everything far away like i'm supposed to but as soon as i try to bring something clear i mean closer it is so it is blurry i can't see nothing so i go from perfect sight to terrible sight in a matter of a second you know what i'm saying so i went and so forth and so on now they were telling me they could do uh give me another type of contact called multifocal which is sort of like having a little bifocalness in uh the contact but i didn't want to do all that um i just didn't because he even suggested he said but what i would suggest to you to do is keep you know wear your contacts since you can see so great and with those contacts you got 20 20 vision um and all i would suggest to you is when you want to read something um just put on a pair of readers and that's exactly what i did he um looked it up gave me my prescription for a pair of readers which you can actually go to dollar store walgreens or whatever something like that you don't have to have no fancy readers since the only time you're going to wear them is when you need up close that was what he said to me but me being me i didn't want no dollar store uh readers i just didn't so i went to walgreens and found some nice ones because they had name brand ones there honey so i found these cute little ones this is the little case they was 25 dollars and on the day that i went they were buying one get one free so i actually got two pair of readers for 25 dollars so anyway these are just blue i have another a pink pair upstairs i just picked them because i thought they were cute never would wear blue glasses any other time but since it's just for readers you know so anyway i'm gonna put on my readers so that i i got my contacts in um i can see all this stuff but since i gotta read this card i'm gonna put on my readers y'all told y'all y'all gonna get wrong uncut from me i'm sorry it is what it is i talk a lot deal with it okay thank you you know i love you all righty so <laughs> here's my readers now all right it says tanika thank you for your support i truly hope you enjoy your package um and you know she's telling me to do an honest review which is you know what i would do anyway um let's see and then she actually oh she gave me a code for my followers which i will link below so you go to her website and then you put in the code tanika 30 to receive 30 percent off your purchase so that was really really nice i really really appreciate that Chantel. thank you so much i can't wait to dive into uh these lashes and see what they are and also right now she has a fourth of july sale going on for 30 percent off um of the site so order you up some stuff get 30 percent off there's no code needed um and yeah i saw that site i went and ordered me a bunch of lashes from there myself and yeah so um and here is her business car 30 girl lashes luxury mink lashes really really cute super 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 cute this is so cute also it has her uh um uh, facebook and instagram on the back and her name Chantel. so um yeah and flirty girl lasha so again i will put all that stuff in the description box so that you will have all your information that you need so you can order from chantilly oh, i don't i don't know it, it, there might be a reason i'm trying to just always say chantilly it don't even say chantilly do it chantelle chantelle i don't know why i keep saying chantilly lace but chantelle with the pretty face y'all so okay i'm just uh uh let me go ahead and open up this these lashes and see oh i didn't even see oh okay she got okay got a little extras up in here too okay and yeah see that there you go and this is what you can clean your lashes with um at the end because they're uh, good for like 30 wears which is amazing y'all amazing and let's just take a look at these beautiful lashes these are luxury mink lashes and the style that i have is voluptuous yes just like your girl all this big 3d voluptuousness in me <laughs> y'all i'm crazy today i don't know what's going on but yeah these lashes are so super duper duper dramatic yes yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these might be some i don't know if these are one of the 25 mm's or not but they are super duper cute i love them yes so let me just take them out the packaging for y'all okay so yeah 
yeah super duper look at those bad boys look at them look at them nice 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 and then i was trying to get this tool out but i might have to do that off camera and come back and um you know show you guys because oh here it is so again yeah just a little you know standard tool that a lot of people have but it's really cute and it's special when it's your own brand so yeah there you go flirty girl really really cute and then the glue also with the packaging of the flirty girl of course and let's see flirty girl lashes oh this is cute i like this glue i love uh the glue like this that is um like on a brush i do i yeah so i got a nice little brush like this and um yeah i like the tip okay nice and sturdy okay i like the tip this actually reminds me of my shop miss a glue that i love and rave about miss uh this you know hers is a dollar 55 shop miss a which i love but this reminds me of it um so yeah about the same thing yep so yeah i love this one too but anyway we're not about that today so Okay, I showed you the lashes, the glue, and the tool. Now, okay, y'all. Oh, uh, no wonder I couldn't see. See, sometimes when I have these on, I forget to take them off. And then I look at uh, a far away, and I'm like, gosh, it's blurry. And I'd be like, oh, oh yeah, I got to take my uh, readers off. See, I got to remember that I only need to have these on when I'm reading something. <sighs> okay, y'all, I know I've been all over the place today, but I don't care and Chantel I know you're gonna watch the video it's still all about you girl it is still all about you alrighty so what I'm going to do now you guys because I am going to demonstrate or uh, or put the lashes on on camera today but first because I know I look a like a grease ball because I just did my whole um, uh, morning time routine uh with all my skincare and stuff like that so my face is probably a little greasy or whatever i don't know but anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this face and then i will be back on camera and show you how to apply the lashes all right now let's get this party started guys all right so um yeah just did a little basic something something nothing special all i have on is a Too face foundation um i have on this uh mally eyeshadow stick the focuses uh, and that is it put it all over the lid and then blend it out the line um, the crease with just the brush with nothing on it and got a little bit of trophy wife as a highlight on my brow bone and my inner um, corner and then put blush and highlight which are both by Laura Lee Cosmetics Laura Lee Los Angeles Cosmetics um, and when I get done doing the eyelashes, I'm going to uh, put on this Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick and this NYX um, I'm Earth Tone Pencil. Once I'm done, I just want to go ahead and get the lash part done first. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I'm not really going anywhere today. Um, maybe go to Walmart or something because I do have to get a couple things. But that's about it. Nothing special. So I'm really, really basic here. Especially because um, these lashes are like boom, bam in your face. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do too much to the eyes. So just a little bit. Oh, and I use my Ruby May Cosmetics um, uh, eyeliner pencil, which I get from Lashy Box. Alrighty, so let me go ahead. So firstly, we have uh, the lashes right here and I'm going to go ahead and actually take my tool right here that I use to normally um, get my lashes off of the plastic. Uh, I usually use these and these are not regular tweezers. These are actually stamp collecting tweezers. I saw some when I first started uh, doing makeup a um, long time ago, years and years ago, used these and then I had comment, I mean, wrote her and asked her and she told me they were stamp collecting. She didn't know which one she had because um, she had been using them for a long time. So I just looked them up on Amazon, got me a pair and I've been using them ever since. I usually, like I said, I use them to take these off of here as well as um, uh, combine my the falsy with mine and I use it because you see how it's like flat like that so I really like it but anyway so oh you know what um let me get my forgot my scissors one second guys one second I should have had this ready but um I did not sorry let me get my little drawer of accessories here okay because I'm not editing like I told y'all not a lot maybe 
one or two pieces of an edit, but not enough. Anywho, guys, oh, you know I'm crazy. I just got my little uh, scissors here, eyelash, uh, si not eyelash, eyebrow scissors. But anyway, okay, so first thing we're going to do is take this. And I've actually already started, to, mm, wrong thing, I, I already started to uh, pull this off of here. So normally what I do is I go at the end here like this. I'll do this one like this see that and then I go like under I don't go all the way at the base where the glue is I go from under here like where the lash sits come on stop okay so yeah I usually just grab it like this like a bunch of them I hope you can see this yeah just grab it and then I just pull pull it right off and yeah and it comes off okay and then once i have the lash off yep i hold it like this and then first thing i look for is um if there's any little extra uh edges on the end you see like right here this is a little edge and there's a little edge there and that's what i use the scissors for i just take the scissors and i just cut off the little um uh extra lash band that's on there which I need to have on my vest because I can't even see where it's at. I hope I don't cut the darn lash because I can't even actually see it. I need my readers. I sound so weird or feel so weird saying I need my readers. I'm all around the house. Sometimes I'm looking at stuff and then I might hurry and go to my iPad or look at something. I'll be like, Jaden, bring me my readers. I'm glad I got two pairs though because ooh, one wear wouldn't be enough for me. You guys, my shirt is filthy. Putting on makeup. I hope you guys can't see it. I am going to change my shirt, but I hope you guys can't see it. But if you can, you know how. I know I usually have a robe or a nightgown on, um, but I decided since I wasn't really going anywhere and I forgot I had a white shirt on when I started this. So now all types of dust, uh, powder, and all that stuff is on me. So anyway, now after I cut the two pieces off, then I will take the glue, the flirty, uh, flirty girl lash glue here and hold it and then i'm just going to put some oh actually there's another little bit of a piece on the end here that i'm gonna cut off i get it all okay all right and so yeah so then i'm going to take this glue here maybe i should actually put it on here maybe it'll focus better because normally i would do it in my well i think it's focusing and then I'm just going to put some glue on the band. I'm not actually going to do a whole bunch today. Because, like I said, I'm not really going nowhere. And, uh, well, you know. And you want to just take and have a little bit more on the ends so the ends can stick. Especially in the inner corners. They tend to lift. So, there. Alrighty. That's about right. And I'm just making sure I added it because, like I said, it's up close. Alrighty. Now, so basically, this is what we're working with. Looking like that. Alright. Now, as far as which eye... For me personally, other people may do it different, but for me personally, I take the shorter end, like, you know, I look at both ends to see which end is shorter, which hairs are shorter, and whatever's shorter, that's the one I put on, like, whatever um, side it's on. Like, right here is um, uh, the right. <laughs> so, you want to put it on the right here because that's what a shorter lens is. Because if I put this one on this one, the uh, longer lashes is going to be on the, and you want the inner to be shorter like your own you know your inner lashes are shorter than you know because you want them to be wispy wisp out so you want to take the shorter hairs and make sure it's in the inner corner part of your eye all right so you know people they usually shake or blow or whatever i usually do nothing or talk or whatever or i usually take my little thing these and hold them for a while and maybe just try to fix up a little bit of something something um on me but and the, you know just to get it tacky and you know this is my first time using the glue so I'm not sure uh, how long it takes to dry but um, judging by like the texture of the glue uh, I'm 
pretty sure this is a fast drying glue, a fast drying glue. So now what I would do is, um, cause I would normally use this to stick it on with as well, but because she was so gracious, uh, to send me the applicator for the flirty girl lashes, I'm going to use the applicator and, um, just put them on. I usually try to get it in the middle and I try to get it like on the tip. See, like the tip of the hair is not all the way up to the top, but down here or sometimes like a quarter up the lash so that I can get a grip on it. And I try to stretch it out just a bit. A lot of people like theirs rounded, but I like to stretch it out a bit because too round, it'll start sticking up here and here. And I mean, of course you can fix that, but I try to straighten it out a little bit. I do. Straighten it out a little bit oh. and hold it and then I'm going to have to take my mirror because I use my uh, mirror when I do mine. So again, we're going to take it and we're just going to uh, apply it. And what I normally do is I uh, take it and I look in the mirror and I'm trying to get as close as I can. I know my wing is not all the way perfect guys, but usually when I do a wing, um, I better hurry up, I'll tell you in a minute. Let me go here before this glue completely dry. Um, and then I close, well not really close, like all, almost close. Let's stick it on. Oh man, I'm so I sorry guys, my hand is in the way. I did not realize that when I was doing it until so just end, now when I'm watching it back. Corner. But um, keep watching, when I do the next eye, it's actually a lot better. You can see it step by step and it's um, closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Again, so sorry my hand was in the way. These are even dramatic for you. Girl, look at them bangs. Nice. And so, yeah. I don't generally wear uh, lashes this uh, long. Never. And then all I'm doing now is just trying to make sure it's sticking all the way across. Now guys, if you see glue, that is okay because the glue will dry in about, you know, less than five minutes. It'll, it'll dry um, to a nice clear so that nobody won't see, you know, so far so good. And yeah, and that is pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I mean, I know it's a little intimidating because you feel like, oh my gosh, the glue was hit up here. It may be touching here. It's okay. It's going to dry. And if it does uh, show a little bit, just take your little eyeliner and draw over it. Uh, you know, make a black line. Now, I don't always wear a black line, but because these are so dramatic, I just felt like I would wear it today. Why? I don't know. Because you're not really going to be able to see it because I don't wear no dramatic lines hardly ever. So, this line you may not even see but that's okay because it darkened up the the lash uh line anyway so still looks good to me and so after i do that what i would do next is take my handy dandy stamp tweezers and then i just uh do mines and uh the falsies together now i don't generally uh put um mascara on you know i watch a lot of people after they put them on they put it on the edges i don't do that um yeah i, I just don't i don't know because i don't like cleaning lashes a lot afterwards i mean i've done it especially when i go out and i'm trying to be super super cute but because i'm home today i'm not going to do that this lash is freaking fantastic y'all freaking fantastic the bang oh my gosh we'll talk about that after i get the other one on for you guys all right, now let's go ahead and do the other. So same thing, we're just gonna pull it from here, which I've already partly or mostly done, pull it. And all right, and again, what I do is take the scissors and I cut off these excess edges. See, do you see the, oh, you see the edges I'm talking about? See the little string looking like piece right there? Just wanna cut that off. I mean, some people keep it on. I just don't, I don't like extra pieces near my eyes and sticking near me and all that stuff so I just cut that right off and then there's a little bit here now some people depending on the shape of your eye I know I have really wide eyes so I don't generally ever have to cut a lash to fit my eye I usually just put the thing on and move it okay so again same thing we're going to uh, take the lash and add some glue And again, you want to put the most on the inner and outer 
corner because that's where it tends to lift and glue like this I like to keep in my purse just in case for emergencies if I'm out I mean if I'm out usually it, it usually never I don't really have an issue with my lashes ever falling or peeling or nothing like that but you never know what will happen so you want to keep the glue with you but anyway and then so yeah while I'm waiting for that to I put a little bit more than I wanted to on that one Let's see but whatever it's okay um so it may take just you know a little bit longer to um uh, dry but it's okay do the rest of your face or go do something around the house while you wait for that to dry okay now um yeah this is really voluptuous fit my eye perfectly but on this lash um yeah I can tell because when you blink it kind of hits here I might have cut this a little bit I mean if I was really going out somewhere I probably would have cut this just a smidgen like the first few lashes right there just so it doesn't hit my nose when it blinks because that I don't like um but it's actually gorgeous though I like it I like it just the one looks good and like I was saying guys my uh, line wasn't completely done I usually just draw a rough draft of a um of a wing <laughs> uh before i put my lashes on and then once the lashes on i see how it looks in place and then i can like close down and i usually finish it up and maybe sometimes even uh do a little bit of concealer to straighten up the line but like i said because these lashes are so dramatic and i do love um whew, you can't really see the line anyway so i don't think i'm even gonna worry about the line today i mean when you close your eyes it's not even that big a deal but yeah looks pretty good to me looks good to me so i'm just you know talking to waste some time and all that stuff too all right and again what we're going to do here that's a little piece of hair to get out all right so again what we're going to do is take the handy dandy eyelash tool and try to get it in the center like a quarter of the way up like that all righty all righty and I'm going to let it just a little bit more of a tacky tack tack feel. I can, you know, been doing it for so long. I can kind of tell when it's at the consistency I want. Because I like to do it when it's super, like, to the point that the glue, like, almost completely dry. Uh, because that way, you know, it sticks. And you don't have to worry about it sliding and all that. So, yeah, when you put on lashes and it is sliding, when you put the glue on there, you need to go ahead and work with it quick and get it into place. Um, because you don't want a whole bunch of globby mess all over your eyes. So I try to wait to the last possible minute before I put mine on because I pretty much know where I want it to be. I usually, you know, like I said, I do it, put it right in the middle, stick it, and then attach the inner and outer. And I usually have no issues. Don't have to slide it around or nothing. So, all right. So this is pretty much, oh my gosh, I really like this lash. I don't ever wear anything this dramatic. I wear bold lashes, but not this freaking dramatic. These, they must, they might, are they, I don't even know if these are uh, the 25 mm's millimeters or not. I don't even know. No idea, but yeah. Again, these are the voluptuous ones. Is it voluptuous? Voluptuous, yes. Beautiful. Okay, so this is ready to go. Let's take the, um, the mirror and go ahead and oh I forgot to do it. well I didn't forget like I said I like to try to open it you know stretch it out just a bit because I don't like my super curved when I try to put it on I like it to stretch because my eye isn't super curved you know what I'm saying it got a little bit of because I got a wide eye so I'm trying to stretch it out just a bit stretch stretch that thing out okay so that's good and it's in the middle so here we go again I'm going to take this and um, close my eye. Well, a little bit close. Sometimes I close it all the way. Sometimes it's just a little. It just depends on okay what I'm trying to see. But anyway, this time, see how that is. Try not to hold it too much in the mirror. Okay, so see right there in the center, right there. Hope you can see that. And then you take the tool and you go to the inner. Whoa okay go to the inner corner and the outer sometimes I gotta use my finger because it'd be going too fast okay all right and see how that inner came up a little bit that's why I said you got to have the most 
a little on the inner and outer corners because they will definitely lift on you. Ooh, girl. The girl looks like a movie star. And then I kind of like take this and you know, try to make sure it's all the way pushed in. This is a video that's longer than I wanted it to be. Alright, and then I'm going to take my handy dandies and just do them together. Press them together. Oh, I love them. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. See, I knew they was, you know, like this, so that's why I said I wanted to do a basic little eye so that these lashes can stand out, especially for video purposes. I could have did more color if I wanted to. Not too, too much because you still um, want the, if you're wearing these lashes, these lashes have got to be center of attention, y'all. They have got to be center of attention. All right. Yes, honey. All right. So there you have it. That is how they look up close. Ooh. Ooh, my eyes look sexy, honey. All right, I'm just, okay. Now, while I'm waiting for this glue just to dry, just a smidgen. All right, and this is it, you guys. This is the final look. Um, it's not really about the look anyway. This is what the lashes are looking like on me with the finished face, hair out and everything nice and ready to go and these lashes look good and um just to talk about chantelle a little bit um please 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 go over to her channel she is really really nice super super nice um she does like mukbangs on her channel she does uh makeup uh tutorials unboxings um uh uh what is it clothes for what i can't remember the name of, i watch her videos i just can't think of the name of the title but on fridays she, fashion fridays she does uh videos on uh fashion she like she just she does everything on her channel her channel is really good really amazing uh giveaways she's just really really good and it's just so nice to see a fellow um smaller youtuber uh branching out and starting her own um, eyelash brand it's really really nice very very nice I'm very proud of her and these lashes are bomb you guys they are bomb they really feel good on the lashes like you're not even wearing anything on your eyelashes that's how light they are and they were super easy to put on this glue is amazing because um it, you know the lashes I mind you I only had the lashes on for about 15 minutes now but still they feel good and um I, you know I trust that they're gonna feel great regardless um I mean that the glue is gonna last I just know because she's a, a great person I know she didn't do anything nothing but quality for her brand so um yeah and that is actually everything that I wanted to say um again thank you to Chantel um, for sending me the PR package to try out these beautiful lovely lashes and again these lashes um, can be worn up to 30 times with proper maintenance and care um, and yeah these will definitely be in my um, uh, eyelash holder I need to get a bigger one of these I really do I'm, I'm gonna get a bigger eyelash holder but anyway um, yeah so that is everything today guys I really really appreciate you watching my video today I know I rambled but you guys know that that's just something that I do I can't help it um, it is what it is um, so it, you gotta just accept it sorry if you don't want to accept it you just gotta move on I'm sorry I'm not doing no shade I'm just saying I talk and I get off topic that that's I got adult ADD I mean that's self-diagnosed of course but I think that's what I have but whatever I'm cool y'all so um thanks again I really really appreciate each and every one of you for watching today um yeah so thank you so much I know I said that again see that's what I mean adult ADD um if you have not done so already you guys hit that subscribe button like and comment and I will see you in the next video